Tony Hunt from the West Wickham congregation. So today we're in Genesis 4 verses 1 to 7. Genesis 4, 1 to 7. And I've called it Surrender to God's Way. Surrender to God's Way. This passage poses a question which unlocks one of the key aspects of the whole of the Old Testament. So what is that question? The question is, why was God so displeased with Cain's vegetable sacrifice and yet very pleased about his brother Abel's meat sacrifice? Does it mean that um, if God went for a meal, he would always reject the vegetarian option in favour of the meat dish? Or is it about something much deeper than that? To answer this, let's first consider why an animal sacrifice was required. This goes back to the initial sin of Adam and Eve. We are told in chapter 3 that Adam and Eve sinned against God by ignoring God's warning in Genesis 2.17. Remember God said, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. When Adam and Eve did eat the fruit, one of the things they became aware of was that they realised that they were naked and they felt very dirty and vulnerable. They made makeshift clothes with fig leaves and ran away to hide from God in the trees. However, God did not kill them but rather issued them with more substantial clothes made with animal skins. An innocent animal would have been killed to obtain those skins, and God's violent judgment would have shocked Adam and Eve. As a result, they learnt that sin had to be atoned for by the death and spilling of blood of an innocent animal. Basically, this was the first Old Testament picture of Jesus on the cross. The fact that the guilty would be able to wash their robes and make them white in the blood of the Lamb, as we're told in Revelation 7.14. We're told in Genesis 4.7 that Adam and Eve taught this to their children. However, Cain decided to do his own thing rather than follow God's way. Unlike Abel, who was a shepherd, Cain worked the land and so brought to God a sacrifice of vegetables. In his own human logic, Cain would have thought this reasonable. It was the fruit of his own labour. It was convenient for him. However, Instead of the sacrifice beginning with God, it was a sacrifice beginning with Cain. You see, this was the beginning of men trying to please God through man-made rituals rather than listening to God himself. We're told in verse 5 that Cain was very angry that his sacrifice had been rejected when Abel's sacrifice was accepted with favour. In verse 7, God says to Cain, If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at the door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Unfortunately, a far greater sin and tragedy was about to unfold which will be covered in tomorrow's devotional, so don't miss it. So what is God saying to you from what we've covered today? As New Testament Christians, we know that we no longer have to sacrifice animals. We know that our sins have been completely atoned for by the precious blood of the perfect Lamb, Jesus Christ, spilt for us on the cross at Calvary. However, are your daily sacrifices, the things you do for God and for his kingdom as a believer, pleasing to God? Or are they born out of your own desires? Are you listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit? 
or to your own human logic? Why not lift this question up to God in prayer and be open to correction and repentance? Surrender everything to him so that there is no place in your life for pride or self-centred worldly thinking. Then you will be in a much better position to both please God and to bless others as you'll be moving in the spirit of God rather than your own thinking. Surrender fully to God's way and move with power and impact, no longer restrained by the limitations of human reason and ritual. Amen. Amen.